one way I'm trying to handle the um, way that I personally have gone about reporting the herpes dude uh, assault incident and other assaultive behavior from him, like his grabbing of my wrist or grabbing at me at the river or pinning me on the wall when I sought to confront him or his um, coaching me to how to stay silent and why to stay silent. One thing that I'm focused on is instead of saying, why didn't I do it this way or why didn't I do it that way, just accepting that the way I handled it was perfect. It was good. And in some ways giving it a lot more time allowed more truth to sink into things and allowed deeper realities to emerge and reflexive behavior to subside. Like I think definitely reflexively I wanted to protect him. And that is very common for abuse victims to want to protect their abuser. But what I um, wouldn't say it was a slow onset of conscience because the very next day as I was trying to explain what he did to his best friend or girlfriend or whatever you call her, this person he was dating and leading on, as I left her apartment and turned the curb, I knew exactly what I would do. That I would whistleblow it to high hell, like from the mountaintops, Mary Eng style. And uh, that's what I've done. And I keep uh, trying to ask myself, have I, uh, is any bell unrung? And I'm finally kind of pleased with where I've got it with uh, the assistance of the Oregon Law Center, Bureau of Labor Industries, 